But once these sprinklers have been installed, both the full circle and half circle sprinklers, that, and remember they've been placed on a grid, and we put the grid on its own layer so we could turn that grid back on again if we wanted to. So let's do just that. There's the grid sitting down and we used it as an aid to place the sprinklers. We did move this group of half circle sprinklers forward because of the problem created by some heavy planting in that top part of the design. Let's turn off our grid We'll also turn off the image and we're left with the design for the input of water, the supply of water, the main valve there, into a line which will carry the main line if you like. Let me select it and you can see it's on a, on a label called L main line piping. So the pipe work is through there. I'll just expand our properties box so we can see the names and uh, I'm managing line weight by layer so whatever I line weight I attach to the main line pipe work it will plot. So there's some text uh, the 40 and the 12 uh, is indicates the class the thickness of the wall of the pipe and the class type that's probably PVC piping but I'm not an expert in that. From that main line water line more control valves feed other sublines. So if we start the first um, controller here, it's going to control this line running down through here. Um, 40 millimeter, 25 millimeter, class nine. So that's if you like one circuit and the next controller contains controls another circuit running down through here and this last symbol here which is on its own line, it's the irrigation main line valve and that controls the circuit above with the arrangement of the watering system our cable electronic control cable to control the solenoid valves through here runs through there and there's an, a, a seven core cable ample space to connect these controllers to if we move to layout here's the irrigation layout what i can do is turn our image back on and for this layout which is on an A3 sheet and I've named that tab that layout image irrigation A3 then I've got an A1 sheet here but on the third layout I've just got the piping I've turned off the display of the image on this layer I've also assigned if we click here and look at layers I've assigned line thickness to uh, a layer and given each layer a colour. So if I now turn on line weight you should be able to see the heavier line and the lighter lines and different colour for each of the piping layouts. So I hope that helps. In addition to this sort of information if we come back into the model and I'll turn line weight back off just for the moment we can also assign to this pipework design extended entity data so if I click on that now and as I move up near the main line here can you see we've used extended information to, to attach it to that line that tells us that this is an irrigation type size 73.9 that's the length of pipe needed for this particular run if we move up here the length of pipe needed for that run 40 the length of pipe needed for this short run here 5.7 so every one of these um, sequences has its product name 25 millimeter class 9 can withstand 900 kPa pressure in it and this line will be different it goes to 1200 kPa so the pressure is dropping as you move further and further out in the network so we're using extended data to store that information that's controlled via GCAD Plus and extended data. So we store it to any entity by clicking on it. And let me just draw a line. Whoops, any old line. Draw a line in here. It doesn't go anywhere. It's meaningless. But if I go GCAD Plus extended data, stored data, 
I point to that line, that entity, and I'm asked the question, is it paving or decking or irrigation, furniture, grass, lighting or species data? So it's clearly, in this case, irrigation. But when I do that, up pops this dialog box and I can fill out information on where, where it says size, I use the length there, the manufacturer's information goes in there. Whatever I put into this box will be displayed when, as it was when I moved in here. So that's how it's installed, how the information is installed. If I go to extended data, I can hi highlight the entries where we've stored some data, and you can see that. Again, it might pay us just for the moment to turn off the image layer. So everything that's highlighted now has extended data associated with it. Clearly, our line didn't, and we can remove it. Now, the last option available to us in extended data is to extract the stored data. And I'll call this one Irrigation 3. I've been rehearsing it. So what it does, it looks in the drawing and put, picks out all the information to do with our irrigation extended data. So we can click Save and I should be able to go to the location of that data. I think it's in here. Irrigation 3, here we go, just double click and Excel starts and pops the information off. So every piece of information, the type, the key, line type, color, line type, layer, and so on, is all there in the usual Excel format. So we can highlight the first half a dozen columns and just hide them. Now we're left with the, the information that we really want, which is the size or length of piping, cost, manufacturer, and type. So we want to sort on the basis of, of type. Now it's sorted reasonably well for us because we've got all the 25 millimeters there. So if we insert it here, put another row in there, and this is all the class 12 there. So class 12, we don't need to add it up, but we can add up the length, total length of all the class 9 40 millimeter and we've got the length of piping. So I'll put another blank line in there and we'll use the auto sum feature and tick that. So we get 58, a total of 58 meters there of 40 class nine. We can do the same here again. I'll insert and we pop in here and auto sum that and we're done. So we've got 99 meters of 25 millimeter class 9 PVC and 70, 58 of this and 33 of that. So we could very easily use Excel and total up the whole lot. I've put cost in there at one and my designer will fill that cost information out. So that can you see from a simple little product like GCAD Plus, we can do uh, a commercial irrigation design and cost it and get materials from it in order to quote a job.